anyway, it's Mina here, the Happy and Imperfect Leader, your diversity and inclusion coach. So today I'm talking a little bit about self-inclusion. So there's a lot going around about including other people and being cautious about what you say to people and how you deal with other people. Uh, in the process, we end up forgetting how to include ourselves in situations. For instance, if you are in a meeting, the polite thing to do is to let other people speak because that's what we are told to do. But what we have to make sure we don't do is at the expense of that, that we don't let, we don't end up not letting our voices heard. It is important to be aware that when you're in a meeting, sometimes things can be really heated and everybody has got something very important to say. But one thing that you have to, to remember is to include yourself in those conversations. So you are just as important as everybody else. So yes, by all means, we have to give other people a chance to speak, but equally, we have to make sure that we don't go out of the meeting thinking, oh, I wish I had said that. Oh, I wish I had, you know, I had put my, my, my point forward in a different way. So how can you best do that? One is raise your hand. That's the thing that's, you know, to raise attention, you raise your hand. The other thing is, yes, pay attention to the speaker and you will mostly notice that there are certain people that will be very much at the hands of the speaker and wanting to, uh, to, to get in as quickly as possible. But also make eye contact with the person that is speaking so that you can be able to go in nod as you as you go forward and also then just gesture a little bit and then start talking it's not okay to talk over other people yes but it is okay to sort of like put your 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 voice forward without apology especially as women most of the times we like making apologies before in my opinion or you know if i can say something please you know, you are just as important as the other person. You are as important as the men that are in the room. So when you are going to speak in a meeting and you got, you want your voice to be heard, you have to lead, to be a little bit more assertive, which some people may not like. But if you are playing to be at the bigger game, if you want to be included in those top decision-making meetings, you have to be able to speak up for yourself and you have to be able to speak up so that people in the room can hear you. You hoping that you sit there and people will realize that you're present and give you, give you a chance to speak is touch and go because yes, some, some chair also the meeting will say, can we hear from the others please? But others will not. So just make sure that the next time you, you walk into that meeting and you have something important to say, just say it out. Include yourself. Don't wait to be included. Call it self-inclusion. Okay? So that's all. That's all. That's all I wanted to tell you about self-inclusion. Go out there. Go crush your meeting. Go and um, get your point heard. Go talk about that project that you want to join in or that project that you want to lead on and put yourself forward for it. Don't be shy. Just go and do it. All right. Thank you very much. It, it's been Amina again from Diverse Couches Advice and Coaching, the Diversity and Inclusion Coach, and also the Happily Imperfect Leader. It doesn't matter whether you make a mistake or not. The point is keep moving forward, keep moving forward. So let's see you moving forward. I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye.